Kansas. It's time for the Mystery Hour. Here's your host, Mystery Jeff Hunter. How you guys doing? That warms my tiny heart. <laughs> we have a wonderful show for you guys tonight. Dr. Steve Scott is here, president of Pittsburgh State University. <laughs> the president. We also have the music of one of our favorite musicians, Randall Shreve. <laughs> and once again, someone just gave us money and told us to give it away creatively. So we did. Check it out. We just finished hiding 10 of these eggs, and we want you to go find them, Pittsburgh. They're all around Pittsburgh, and you need to find them because there's a $100 bill in them. We just scampered about town and hid them all around. And now you get clues as to where they are. They're all in public places or maybe just a couple steps off. You don't have to reach up high. You don't have to climb something for them. Uh, and they're there for you. There are also some eggs that are decoy eggs. They do not have $100 in them. They have a picture of city clerk Tammy Nagel. Better than $100. So, you're watching this now, you get clues because they are hard to find. Here are your clues. So if you find one of these eggs, be sure to put on social media hashtag Pittsburgh Money Egg. If you find one with a picture of Tammy Nagel in it, please be sure to hashtag, hashtag Tammy Egg. Happy hunting. Be careful. Just be reasonable. Don't do dumb things. Yes. Also, my parenting philosophy to my four-year-old, just don't do dumb things. Hey, let's move on to Things I've Noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Hot off the presses, some brand new Things I've Noticed. I've noticed that according to my research, based on the times I have dropped food, the world is 100% covered in hair. <laughs> Every time. I've noticed that no matter how ugly your child is, they look cute in sunglasses. <laughs> I've noticed that I thought about buying a truck but it seemed too expensive, so instead I just made a t-shirt that says, I'll help you move. <laughs> I've noticed that if someone were to ask me my life's ambition, it would be to be the first Latino into space. And finally, I've noticed that if I was a dyslexic child, whenever I read about MP3 players, I would think it was time for school to get out. <laughs> Things I've noticed. Things I've noticed. <laughs> Woo! All right. I am not Jeff. Hello. Uh, Jeff uh, had an emergency. He's got some explosive diarrhea, so. <laughs> My name is Chance, I'm one of the writers, and I'm here to sort of take over for him uh, in that regard. And now is my perfect opportunity to do something I've always wanted to do on the show. Uh, I wanted to bring on a good friend of mine, he's been a friend of mine for years and years, and Jeff has never let me bring him out on the show, but Jeff's not here, so tonight's my chance. That's my name. Uh, so, uh, but before I bring him out, a little thing about him is he doesn't really look like you and me. He's, he's kind of a strange dude. Uh, he, some people think he might talk a little funny, but I assure you, he is just one person uh, talking with one voice. Is that, do you guys understand? Cool, cool, all right. So uh, I guess uh, he's a little shy though, so uh, a big, big round of applause to bring him out. Everybody, let's, let's get him out here, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
There he is. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, hey how's, how's it, it going, child? <laughs> yeah, that's sure. Uh, so I'm so sorry. I'm uh, I forgot to tell the people your name. Uh, you want to tell them? Uh, introduce yourself. Say your first name. Yeah, my name is Sheriff. Sheriff. Sheriff Pancake. That's right, that's Sheriff Pancake. He uh, he patrols the streets of Pancake Town. Uh, so Sheriff Pancake, uh, just just, we, I just I've always wanted to have you on the show. Um, so here's your opportunity to tell the people where where exactly are you originally from? We're here in Pittsburgh. Oh, oh I'm, I'm from my child. child. I'm from, from my child. child. My child of my grandparents had me. Yeah. You know how families work. Cool. Yeah, uh, my, my mom, mom cried. cried. My, my mom, mom cried when she, she saw me. Huh? Same. Cool. Uh, so, uh, uh, Sheriff, Sheriff, what, why don't you tell the people what's, what do you do for uh, a living when you're not Sheriff Pancake, and what, what do you do? For oh, fun? I love to wiggle my way around cows. <laughs> yeah, that's good. No, at all. Look at that. That's a great waggle. So, so Sheriff. What, uh, do you have any, I really want these people to feel like they know you so they can talk to you maybe after the show. What, uh, tell them, do you have kids, uh, a wife, a family, anything like that? Yes, yes I, I have, have kids. kids. My, My grandparents, child's grandchildren. Wow, that's, yeah, their, their names, names are, are uncles. <laughs> Huh? And aunts and, and cousins, cousins just, just to, to make, make it, it confusing. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's awesome. Uh, cool. Well, I'm so glad that we got to sort of share you with the crowd out here. Uh, hey, bud, but what did we talk about? I told you you can come on the show as long as you cut down. All right. You're adorable. Uh, let's just. Just a parting piece of advice, anything you want to bestow upon this crowd, uh, just sort of maybe a piece of life advice, career advice, something? Sure. sure. I love you. So, so I would like, like to, to tell you, tell you don't, don't go where the pies are behind the, the counter. counter at Harry's. <laughs> that is my friend Sheriff. All right, we'll be right back. Woo! That comedy bit brought to you by Bush Ramlow and Shore CPAs, accountants always known for being funny. Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Hey, we have an uh, awesome guest who's uh, a president of a thing, and we also have a presidential worthy uh, uh, sponsor. <laughs> I tried to link them. <laughs> MissouriTrafficTickets.com, we love them. They're the president of websites. It's worse. Let's get someone out here who knows what they're doing. Please put your hands together for the president of Pittsburgh State University, Dr. Steve Scott. Wow. Here we are. Yeah, it's cool. Is it cool? It is. Oh, it's great. Looks like, a, looks like a convocation we have at our place. Yeah? Yeah. What? Except I sit there. Yeah? <laughs> How does this feel? Uh, I'm the president of go. right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think that's more fun over there. Yeah, right. Uh, 
So thank you for coming on. We right. we haven't had too many presidents on, so we get excited when presidents come on. Um, <laughs> how how long have you been the president at Pittsburgh State University? Almost eight years. Just yeah. a week or two short of eight years. And right. I wonder why presidents haven't come on here. That kind of worries me. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> they have what. Uh, they call it too much respect for themselves. So, uh, <laughs> but you, you've seen our videos, so you yeah, know I've that's not true. Maybe. Yes, so I know you. Yeah. I know you don't respect yourself. No, um, <laughs> so I don't want this to be career ending, and I don't mean for me, but I mean for the guy who told me I ought to do this. Yeah, right. Exactly. His name is Chris Kelly. Yeah, he's just to be clear. He's gone soon. Exactly. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. Well, you may get a you may get a bump. Like people sometimes come, people come on the show, and then something big happens to them. So. Maybe you'll become double president. <laughs> Big good. Yeah, good. good. Yes, yes, good. yes, okay. yes. Good things. So, uh, what eight years ago? What drew you to Pittsburgh State University? Well, for one thing, I was right down the hall from the president's office. Okay. I, was, I was the provost at You're the time. You were the provost. Okay. So I've been here since uh, 1988. Is that right? And okay. I came in as an assistant professor and then became a chair, dean, provost, president. Kind of a boring path. Yeah. Very linear. Are you but, in the classroom at all? Do you, uh, teach at all? you know, I go in the classroom on a regular basis to yeah. teach. I teach a speech class, just a guest lecture. I was in a leadership class of students the other day, about a dozen students talking about leadership. Yeah. And I loved. I love to just throw the floor open to what questions do you have about yeah. Pitt State. Yeah. And you can imagine the first question. What's that? Parking. <laughs> What's the story on parking? Yeah. I think you're, it's a good college. If, if, Colleges that have abundant parking, I think it says that the students want to leave. Pol colleges that don't have great parking, yeah. you want to be there. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So uh, what would you say Pitt State is known for? Or if, if, there's a, if there's a junior in high school that's deciding or something, what do you say Pitt State is? There's a number of things. Uh, I think one of, the, one of the main things we think about is just how, how personal a campus it is. Mm -hmm. Just like president going in, visiting with a dozen students. Our faculty are extremely accessible, uh, very, very supportive. Our staff is known to go not just the extra mile, but beyond that to help a yeah. student who's maybe lost or struggles. You see it in the health center, you see it in the rec center, wherever it is. I mean, we really are good at helping students achieve their goals. And I've noticed um, great school spirit. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. People, you saw the gorillas. I think you've seen the gorillas up and down yeah. Broadway. And there's an amazing level of, of spirit for this place. And I think a lot of that came over the years through football. Initially, yeah. we've been very successful in football. We've won four national championships. We also have elevated a pretty good deal. And the community really has been energized by our athletics programs. I don't think yeah. there's any doubt about that. And that's part of that, that uh, the, the gorilla being everywhere. But also you see it now with the arts and all the other kinds of things we do on the campus. They're just yeah. tremendous support. And I think that's something else that when kids come here and look at us to think about coming to school here, they see that community support. Yeah. And that matters. Yeah. So you're, you're, I know that being a president, like you're, you're going to activities all the time on top of your job. But what are you, what are you doing outside of that? You know, when you're not outside doing Outside of that? Yeah, maybe you what don't do have you mean? it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There is no it's, outside of that. No, it's really 24-7, it's really uh, but, but I, I exercise, I enjoy walking, yeah. uh, I read a lot, uh, get, we get away a little bit, my wife Kathy and I get away a little bit, recently got yeah. had a chance to get away, uh, but it's, it's, uh, you're always connected by a smartphone, yeah. and uh, something's always happening, usually it's good, Yeah. but then there are things that aren't, but I need to be aware of, and, uh, but it's, it's a great job, I have no complaints. Yeah, so... When are you going to retire? <laughs> did, uh, did the provost ask you to ask me? Yes. <laughs> or maybe yes. the athletic director? They all, or they've the all asked. Coach. Many people have asked. You know, it's kind of funny. We've interviewed several people lately for higher level jobs, and, and they've asked me, you know, how long are you going to do this? And it's like they're ready to take my blood pressure and look at my blood work. <laughs> right. It's like, well, no, I'm, I'm having, uh, you know, this is a challenging role. There is no yeah. doubt. But boy, is it worthwhile and fulfilling, and I have a lot of energy, and I'm just going to keep doing it as long as my health is good and the Kansas Board of Regents uh, will allow me to, because yeah. I have nine bosses. Nine bosses. There you go. So, well, I should mention, I had nine bosses in addition to the faculty senate. 
You're right. I, I, I you have lots of bosses. I, I have lots of bosses. So I want to do a little game with you. I was afraid of that. So <laughs> are we fair. out of time? That's fair. No, we still got it. We still got it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to ask you a question, and you have to decide if it's Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or Pittsburgh, Kansas. <laughs> and, uh, but you can't say Pennsylvania or Kansas. I just have to tell what your answer is by your pronunciation. <laughs> okay. So just say Pittsburgh or Pittsburgh, okay? Okay, I get it. <clears throat> okay. Which Pittsburgh has a median resident age of 32.9 years? It's gotta be Pittsburgh. <laughs> Sorry, it's Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh, I would not have guessed that. Yeah, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Which Pittsburgh has the higher than U.S. average sunshine in August? Pittsburgh. Yep, Pittsburgh. <laughs> Pittsburgh, Kansas. That's right. Okay. Which am I saying now? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> and finally, which Pittsburgh has the best football team? Oh, that's easy. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Kansas! We'll be back with Randall Shreve. Stay where you are. Guest travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vanderbilt. Pittsburgh Hotel Accommodations provided by Lamplighter Inn. Musical guest brought to you by Brian Properties. Welcome back, everybody. We have a tremendous musical guest. Please put your hands together for Randall Shreve.
once again. So great, man. So awesome. Uh, Woo! Randall Shreve, Dr. Steve Scott. What a fun show. We will see you guys next week. Cast and crew catering provided by Chicken Annie's and Chicken Mary's. Live sponsorship for the Mystery Hour provided by Crawford County Convention and Visitors Bureau.